for more tunnel vision myself and the beautiful Crystal. Crystal, do you have another question for me? I do. Okay. Donald, how did you feel living under the same roof with a notorious psychopath? <sighs> well, this is the question I've really been dreading ever since I did this show, and uh, everybody has been wanting to know. It's, it's what everybody's thinking about. It's the 800 pound gorilla in the room. I just got to say that I was a little concerned living in the same mansion with Garth the Plumber, but fortunately, I don't think I'll ever have to see that dude again, so it's all good, it's all good. And now, I want everybody to know that in 2009, I did not just meet two of the greatest reality sweeties on the planet, Megan and Brandy C., but I also got to meet my number one favorite movie star, Dominique Swain, the star of Lolita. She played John Travolta's daughter in Face Off. She was Christina Ricci's best friend in Pumpkin, and she stole the whole movie from Justin Timberlake in Alpha Dog. And just a few weeks ago, she spoke exclusively to Donald Vision. Here's that interview with me and my favorite movie hottie, Dominique Swain. I love Totally Awesome. Oh, well, thank you. My goodness, you've seen all my work. I think I have. I've seen, I've seen Girl. And I've seen... Yeah, well, there, there's, you know, there's like a rocky time in there when there were like some movies. Oh, Pumpkin is another like, classic. Uh, Pumpkin's another classic. Oh, yeah. Well, Pumpkin's great. Christine is awesome. So what attracted you to this group? Um, well, I think that it's just a tale of, like, unrequited love. That is my part of the story. But also, like, just unrequited everything. Like, there's, there's always one decision that you make in your life that affects the rest of your life. And that's what this movie really is about. It's about making amends for that decision. And I think that people see that every day. And like, there are some things that you can that you can never pay for. But hopefully, you know, when you see that you're on the wrong path, you do everything that you can to correct that. So, is this the first time since Briar Patch you've made a movie with a Southern saying? Um, I know you made the cowboy movie with Kevin Sorbo, so that's sort of Southern. Right, but I didn't have a Southern accent. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I have to, to ask, I sort of take, it, take out my accent you, and dust it off. And I have to ask you about your movie, The Ocean, because a friend of mine wrote the script. Oh, God. Michael Gingold. Oh, well, goodness. Well, I mean, I'm hoping that that movie gets made, actually. Um, so that one's not started yet? Not started yet. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed Oh, for that. I bet Michael is, too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it will be so amazing and so epic, you know, when it happens. Yes. So. Would you ever like to do another movie with Frank Langella? I guess you were rooting for him for the Oscars last year. Oh, absolutely. Um, he was he was wonderful. You know, working with him on my first thing, he sort of took me under his wing. Like he got me flowers the first day I was there, and he was just sort of like you know guiding my future. And he he wasn't even there for very long, mm -hmm. but the time that we spent together was really special. Yeah, so. he was really so true to the book. Oh, he oh he really was. I mean, he took it to another level. And then Adrian had that thing that he wanted to do with like the blood bubble, yeah. and you know that was in the book, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but Frank Langella was just really game for anything, and like he has a way of doing things that I know that he would hate me for saying this, but would seem campy to suggest. But then when he does it, it's it's just you know completely real, and he just wins you over with every single yeah. thing. Wow. Well, I'm really excited to see this movie. It's an incredible cast, but you're the main reason I want to see it. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and so, good luck with all your future projects. Okay, we're back. That's all the time we have for today on Donald Vision. We hope to be back with another episode really soon. We've got hey, some... aren't you the, uh, the reality guy? Uh, yes, I am. I'm trying to do a show right now for the viewers of Donald Vision. So, so can I get your autograph real quick? Uh, yeah, I've got no problem with that. I'm always happy to give an autograph for the fans. So all right. Sure all right. Well, I'll have a pen, so... Well, I don't either, so I guess we're out of luck. Maybe, you know, send you an email, whatever. Anyway, thank you for so, watching this. Maybe you uh, maybe have a pocket knife or something? Uh, I think I do in my glove you, compartment. You put it on my titty if you want. You can sign Donald Rock My World on my titty if you want. Uh, How would that be for you? You know, are you really trying to f with me right now while I'm trying to do a piece of sh Listen. I'll say you're just, just one of those guys that just ignores the fans and f everybody else. It's all about you, isn't it? Look, I don't really have time for this today. Are you really trying to see how pissed off you can make me? This is bullshit. This is f 
What? Listen, I don't want any fans of Donald Vision getting the impression that this is how I treat my fans. I have respect for my fans, and I would never treat them in a disrespectful way. But when a fan crosses the line like this one does, I have no alternative but to try to stroke the f***ing shit out of him. This is not an indication of how I treat my average fan, only this piece of shit. And so, for all of the rest of you, my real fans, thank you, and we'll see you next week. On Donald Vision, if you see me in public, feel free to ask for an autograph. I'm happy to do it. Very happy to.